May God be on our side because it seems like the incoming black swan won't be. Why? In today's video, a lot has already happened today, guys, but things are just piling up, right? It's like an eruption is about to take place. But this is so strange to me, right? Soon as black swans are, are like swimming upon and, and trying to get into view, guys, look at what comes out or look what these exchanges are tweeting, right? These are exchanges that, that literally um, tell prices where to go, right? You Binance US tweeted out an XRP with these fast facts, right? XRP, fast facts, is a native is a native token of the XRP ledger founded in 2012 by David Schwartz, Jet McCaleb, and Arthur Brittle, right? And it says a few more things, guys. But again, this is all positive, right? But why in exchange, especially Binance, guys, right? Or Binance US? This is crazy, isn't it? Hmm. Another exchange. Bitcher official comes out. Do you think there will be the possibility of a XRP ETF on the horizon? Right. This is this is most definitely fascinating, guys. Um, really odd. Now XRP tweets out. Notice how all these uh, hacks and disease. You guys know, right? The things that are happening right now are dropping left and right. As soon as XRP bull run is about to begin, gotta keep the public distracted and in fear, guys. That's what it is. Okay, so there's a couple mechanisms, okay, for them to make retail not get rich and wealthy. In tw the 2020 event was the was basically a prime example. Cryptos did what, guys? It plummeted, but then a V-shaped recovery out. People had to sell, 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 sell because they thought the world was gonna die. Number two, they couldn't, they didn't have money to survive, right? So now they're out of the market, guys. Right? They're out of their position. But they sold the bottom. The market makers immediately um, made prices go back higher, right? Now they're stuck and have to either buy in higher, or they have to hope we go. We, um, had the prices had to come lower, guys, for them for them to get back in, right? But they didn't do this. It just went high. It just consolidated, went higher and higher and higher, guys, right? So that's what I'm thinking will happen again before the actual bull run, bull run happens. But before that point, guys, I need them to pump it, right? Before this black swan appears, I need them to pump it. Breaking! An ACS government just moved 10,000 a Silk Road Bitcoin worth $500 million, guys, to Coinbase Prime. Are they ready to sell? Why? Because it seems like Warren Buffett has or is on a selling spree, guys, right? This, okay, so these events right here, right? Th these are indicators, guys. These are like um, front running indicators, right? Now, it's not obviously 100% accurate, but it'll give us some type of clue to see maybe perhaps what's coming, right? what's on the horizon so warren buffett just liquidated 49 percent of his apple position guys what is this minus basically 49 percent. that's 13. someone down here says this was from three months ago but still right all these people are selling 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 such as uh principal accounting officer just sold a million dollars worth of apple shares right e even though that's like a blimp guys right that's literally nothing uh but still another sell order now this is incredible though because warren buffett's berkshire hathaway's cash uh cash position relative to total assets spiked to 25 percent in q2 2024 the most in at least 24 years the company's share of cash has more than doubled in just two years guys right so what's going on here this is a uh, buffett's cash pile relative to total assets Right, and it's on a surging spree again. The last time it was this high was literally in June of 2005. Right? Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Basically, um, a couple years back, right? He was like, "Screw this, the economy, the world is being too chaotic," and he probably sees an actual collapse is near. Right? A collapse has to be near. Um, that's what these things are telling me. Now, another um, front-running type of indicator is gold has the highest daily close in history. And there it is, guys, right? So t you tell me why is gold going higher and higher and higher? Well, one thing that I know is people are trying to hedge, right? Maybe perhaps it's the insiders. I don't think it's retail buying gold at all, right? Who, who even buys gold these days? Now, soft landing, or, well, banks, but soft landing or crash landing. This comes from Robert Kiyosaki, guys, okay? He says, I hope I am wrong, yet I am prepared for the biggest market crash in world history. Question, why am I preparing for a crash landing? 
answer because if I am right, a crash and possible depression will make myself and those that are, ve are that are prepared very, very rich. Exactly. If something negative such as a black swan, guys, okay? If something negative such as a black swan appears during this point, you do not want to be afraid. You want to buy, right? Not sell. During the collapse, you obviously want to buy, right? You want to wait, possibly if you want to be safe, um, you know, if you want to be safe, you want to wait till the dust settles, right? But either or, but either or, there will be multiple chances to get rich if you are prepared. How do we know some type of hard landings coming, right? Some of, some type of this guys, like that, right? It's because now Biden says we are gonna have a soft landing. My policies are working. Start writing that way, okay? <laughs> this is insane. Check this out, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I told you we're going to have a soft landing. We're going to have a soft landing. My policies are working. Start writing that way, okay? And Mr. President, anyway, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to have a soft landing. Are you serious right now? Right? You cannot be serious, guys. Wow. If we have a soft landing, then then I'll, then I'll give them credit, right? Where credit is due. But looking at everything right now, guys, from different indicators to metrics to uh, data, right, to all these tweets, documents, videos, and everything, and especially what's happening uh, with the world events right now, I surely believe a recession, minimum, a recession is coming, right? But then later, probably something, uh, it'll be something worse than a depression. That's later, though, not now. Now, breaking the UK sees the worst one month job losses since the C event. Don't you guys see? Right? UK unemployment 135,000. Forecast was 14,000. Uh, previous was 32K unemployment, guys. Over 10x higher than expected. Right? And it's on the rise again. It's on the rise again. Mm. Last time what happened was it won on these rises, guys. Right? But then it came back down. Right? People were employed. But this time, could it be an outlier and literally shoot up like that, right? That was a 2020 event, if I'm not mistaken, guys, right? But that's still um, diabolical. What? That's how you know the economy is, is going downhill, guys, right? And Joe Biden is here saying, oh, no, everything will be fine. Are you serious right now? Breaking Paramount TV studios shutting down and amid major restructuring, guys, layoffs. Again, look what's happening. Well... The stock market, SPX, guys, on the weekly time frame tells us that the blood indicator is very close to cross its 100-week moving average, right? I hope this time is different, guys. So each time, um, this is the blood indicator. When the blue line crosses below this black line, right, happens several times, guys. Um, this event happened at 2020 events, 2008 and 2000, right? All market crashes, but... This time, in the, before the 2020 event occurred, guys, right, it did cross down, but check this out. Stocks created a higher high, right? Stocks created um, a new all-time high, guys. That's what I'm hoping, right? Even if this thing does cross down, I'm hoping for the stock market to go like that, guys, right? Then perhaps the recession sets in, right? And we go higher because of the money printing, right? So awfully, I don't know why, perhaps um, things are looking more like 2020, from Game of Traits. Recession indicators are flashing a major warning signs. This won't age well, guys. This is another one. And let wait, let me give you um let me give you the event they're going to blame the this thing that's coming soon, right? The recession. Next is economic activity. Every time we uh, cross this threshold, guys, okay, and we have a huge spike down, it always or most of the times matched with a recession, right? If it happens again, prepare for a recession, guys. Um, then we got, this is the news that came out today, guys, right? Which is, I guess, good, but I was hoping for, like, 2.7. Breaking, they say inflation falls to 2.9%, lower than expectation. So I think it was 3%, right? Um, under 3%, guys, yeah. So um, this is good, though our timeline still hasn't got confirmed, right? If this was lower, like... A lot lower, guys. Yes, our timeline, our timeline would have been confirmed. Now we have to wait until a month from now to see what happens then. Though inflation is still high, 
100 percent right now the federal reserve chair jerome powell said uh has said if the federal reserve waits for for um for two percent inflation to cut rates we will have waited too long exactly guys right because the market the economy is already falling to shreds it's already tearing into shreds guys is the market forecasting a recession right Markets are again pricing more Fed cuts in the next 12 months. Exactly. If a recession happens, they're going to cut like never before, guys. It's not, it's not going to be only one cut. These are the events they're going to blame it on. Okay. Supposedly, the WHO came out today um, and, they, and, and they're talking about how there's something new here. Right. It's called this right here, guys. Okay. It's called that. And it's now an emergency, supposedly. Right. So that's not good at all because this reminds me of 2020. Doesn't it, folks? Exactly. So something, something um, strange is brewing, isn't it? Then they say that um, they're working, they're still in contact with these manufacturers, guys. The V manufacturers on availability, right? In case things get out of hand with this event. Uh oh, isn't that strange? All I know is, whenever the event happens, guys, look at what the Treasury stated. Treasury officials calls for action from United States policymakers to regulate crypto before the next crisis hits. Treasury officials call for action from U.S. policymakers to regulate crypto before the next crisis hits. So with, with, you, <laughs> with you seeing that, right, that clearly tells you that when this next crisis hits, guess what they're going to be using? When people need a handout. Just like how they was doing with the stimulus checks. Guess what they're going to be using this time when the next crisis comes out? Crypto. You, you see what's happening here? This is this is what's happening in the real world. While everybody's looking at all this garbage, this is what's happening. Tre so in the end, guys, let us prepare, right? I already know Blackstone is coming, guys, just from everything we have seen. Um, especially when he says, don't worry, guys, the, the economy is doing great. 100% the opposite. This, this is Alpha Nature Vice. Please pump our bags before this appears. Let's go. Wow. Things are getting pretty chaotic, especially this is the year of elections as well. So I guess it makes sense. Now, Nature Vice, but there's so face See ya.